Well, hey, everybody, it's Pastor Martin, and it is time for us to talk uh, church tech talk tonight. And we're going to be talking about technology. And uh, those of you that uh, are a part of um, maybe um, something that's going on with your church or ministry, and uh, you're doing live stream, of course, everyone is doing live stream right about now. Uh, it is uh, the thing that everyone is doing while I'm doing this live stream tonight, I'm sure that there are probably thousands and hundreds of people that are doing live stream. Do me a favor, please share this with someone as you come in tonight. We're going to be sharing a couple things with you that I think will help you with your live stream. Tonight, we're going to talk about uh, why, when we're live streaming, uh, what may be the cause of your buffering. When you talk about buffering, that's that little bitty circle that you just see. It just keeps going like a little wheel spinning or... Uh, your stream just seems to cut off and it says all of a sudden that, uh, you know, you've lost your stream or the live stream has been interrupted even in the midst of you streaming. And we're going to uh, tackle that tonight, what may be some of the causes of that taking place and some of that happening. And so I want you to uh, come in and let's do that. First of all, let me say again that everyone now is live streaming. It seems to be a thing that everyone now is into uh, live streaming, whether you're doing it from a phone, from your iPhone, from your tablet, from uh, desktops, from uh, whatever it may be. Some of us, some people are live streaming from um, from a web browser type of things like uh, StreamYard and different other things that they're using. And I've looked and seen a couple of of uh, broadcast will seem like in the middle it may cut off or in the middle it may start buffering and tonight i want to share with you uh probably what that may be there's two or three things and we'll share and maybe when you get a chance to go back and check it uh some of you that may have had that problem uh you may find that this may be helpful for you if you're going to be doing live stream now this information that i'm sharing i don't uh, claim to be an expert but I've been doing it a while and uh, some, you know, sometimes people, uh, they want help, need help, maybe don't know where to get help from or to ask certain questions or whatever. But tonight we're going to try our best to help you in that area and to share that area. And those of you that are watching uh, live and then those of you that will watch later, you can do that. But let's jump right into it. Okay. So you're, you're live streaming. So you're using a phone or you're using your iPad or you're using software that is uh, web-based, uh, whether it's StreamYard or whether it's BeLive TV or whatever it is, or you were using third-party software like Ecamm, that's what I'm using now, or you're using Wirecast or vMix or whatever it may be that you're using. So you're using these particular things. And so you're uh, streaming. And it happens, and, and while you're live streaming, it just seems to happen all of a sudden, and there's nothing you can do about it. All of a sudden, your stream starts to buffer, it starts to cut out, it starts to picolating, and you're trying to figure out what in the world is going on. And But you're in the midst of a stream, and there's not too much you can do. Sometimes it comes back on, and you have to cut off and then come back and tell everyone, I'm back now. Uh, so tonight, let's look at a couple things. The first thing I want to say to you, and I've said it before, it's very important for us to understand that when we're talking about live streaming, one of the things that we need to really concentrate on and understand is that you must talk about bandwidth. We must talk about upload and download speed. And a lot of times when we talk about streaming, one of the things that we have not looked at and even at our churches, sometimes we have not paid attention to, and even in our homes, they sell us packages for streaming. And uh, what they give us is they give us the high end of the download speed, which is, it could be 300, it could be 400, uh, it could be whatever. They give us the high end, but on the upload speed, they give us where you only got 25 up or 30 up, or sometimes they give you 100 up. And so we feel, okay, we've got enough to do. But what uh, we don't understand is that the download speed is not what you use for streaming. The download speed is what you use when you are 
uh, downloading files, if you're downloading videos, if you're downloading whatever, that's what you use for the download. The download is used for downloading music and stuff. That's why if you got a high download speed, when it comes down to downloading, it doesn't take you long to get that to come down. But now if you're uploading, which means you're uploading video or you are uploading for a streaming, if, you know, a lot of people say, I've got 25 up, well, probably that's not enough. Especially if you're doing, you know, uh, uh, 720 and and then you're going to uh, 12, what, uh, 1920 by 1080 and, and when you're high def, when you get into that, 25 may be, but more than likely it's probably not enough. And so what happens is when you get that, two things begin to happen. Either you find that it starts to buffer a little bit, or you find that it starts to pixelate, or you find that it gets out of sync, where the video and the audio are not matching up. So when you start talking about if you're going to do something, even at your church and, and even at home, if you're going to do something for upload for speed, you need to concentrate if you're going to stream on upload. You need to find out about upload. Now, I've got two different things. This, what I'm doing now, is I have a dedicated thing just for streaming. And then I have another thing that I use for the house. So on a totally different thing where everybody uses that on the house. Now, on that one, I have 100 up, I believe, and, and I forget how many down, but it works for the house, and it works for what I need for that. But for this computer, I have a whole different service. I have a whole different uh, thing that I use. And when I use this, hey, God bless you, Dr. Wilcox. When I use this, I use this has a thousand up and a thousand down. And I'm going to show you what many of you need to do is get a speed tester. And that's free. You can use that on your computer. They even have them where you can use it on your phone. And I'm going to share that with you in a minute because it's important for you to understand that you, uh, you need that upload speed is what you need for streaming. That may be one of the cause of your buffering and cutting off. The second thing is that most of us did not buy computers. Uh, if you have an older computer, whether it's a Mac or whether it's a Windows, we did not have or we did not buy these computers for streaming. We may have bought them in, in the Mac case. We may use them for editing videos like I do, but we didn't buy them for necessarily streaming because streaming came in sort of later. Now, we've they've got newer models that can do that, but we did not use those for streaming. We did not get those together for streaming. So if you got an older Mac, you may be having some problems with that. If you got a new, I just got a, a, another Mac, found a great deal. Somebody was selling it, and I was able to get it add memory and stuff. So I, I've been doing pretty good with it so far. And so th that's good. Now you can have the same thing with the window products because all of them are going to use CPU and the uses of it. So when you talk about the possibility of what may be going on, it could be going on for the fact of the computer itself, because most of them, we did not purchase them for streaming. Most people that have streaming computers, gaming computers, I bought a laptop, uh, 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 I got a, a deal on a laptop a couple of months ago, and it is a gaming computer. It's a laptop, and it does. It has everything that I can do if I'm going locally on, and stream. I can use that, so it's it's perfect for that. But understand that even in that, uh, it, people usually that have these when they you see them the streaming and it's it look like it's perfect. Uh, they have computers that are built especially for streaming. And most of us don't have computers that are built for streaming. So that could be your second problem. Next problem is it could be because uh, most, most people don't use, they use Wi-Fi to stream on their computers and they use Wi-Fi on the, some, um, on our phones and stuff. That's Wi-Fi, of course, is not hot-wired. So a lot of times when you're out in the field and you're doing stuff, and, and your picture is messing up, or even if you're in the hotel or you're at home, if you're hooked to a Wi-Fi, and especially if it's something that everyone else is using, it, it's very unstable. So you're going to get some buffering. You're going to get this. So that's another thing. Now, if you're using a, a desktop, let me suggest to you that you get uh, this. is Ethernet 
uh, cord. And you can see that, and I've shared this with you before, uh, most of them have the on the uh, modern day computers, they have these and you hook this into, uh, mostly into the back of your cable box, they have those of your modem. So you hook that in, you hook it into the uh, computer and it's hardwired. So that is the most stable connection you're going to get. And uh, if your computer can handle it and you've got the right memory and stuff, and you've got the right bandwidth and stuff, more than likely you're not going to get any buffering or if you do, it's going to be minimum where people may not recognize it. So you need to work on that. But let me share with you one of the things we need to do. Let's look at this because I want you to see this. All right. So now I'm, I'm sharing uh, my screen with you. This is a uh, speed test. And some of you need to get this so you can look at it and you'll see what, what speed test is. Let me show you. Uh, this, is, this is my computer that I'm using. And it's going to show you, it's going to give me the test and test the speed of my computer, what's going up and what's coming down. So notice it's testing uh, my speed now. And you see where it's giving 9, 9, it's doing 9, whatever, 9, whatever. See that? That's the download speed. That's download. That's download. So when I download a file, it takes me no time to download it. Now here goes the upload speed. Now you see the upload speed is right at 900 so it's close to going up to that thousand so when i'm uploading that's the speed that really carries me through and carries me on because it is the upload speed and so i need you to 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 get that and to understand that when we're talking about speed sometimes your problem may be you're using wi-fi and wi-fi is not always gives you the same speed so you just saw that speed that i had Upload was 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 nine something and download was uh, download was nine something. So you need to get that particular thing. OK, so hey, bro, Davis, thank you. Uh, so now let's let's look again. And uh, then I'm going to say to you, uh, someone says, well, what 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 do we need to do? Because I see a lot of people they are streaming and they're using the the camera from their um from your your webcam or not webcam from your computer you're using that hey sis adams you're using that and so when you're using that what happens is it's not a clear picture it's not a good picture uh for streaming uh, it might be a good picture for something else but it's not for streaming it is not a good picture so you use a different camera now those of you right now you can afford these this is a logitech uh this is a older but it's a hd it's a uh, it's a uh, 1080. Uh, you can get these on Amazon and different places. They don't cost that much. This is a Logitech 920. It's a webcam. You can hook this to your computer. You can hook it to your laptop, and uh, you can stream and you can get HD out of this. It'll give you a better picture than m probably what you're getting from that onboard camera. That onboard camera is not going to do it. This here. So this is the Logitech 920. They've got some others. Then they've got the Brio. But you need to check in to getting uh, one of these if you're going to do something that's going to be, if you're streaming, especially from your house, sitting in front of a camera like I'm doing now, you need to, to get that. Then um, many of you, uh, if you hear my sound, I hope it sounds pretty good. Um, I'm using, of course, a Rodecaster, and then I'm using my, uh, I got my mic here. And so that right there is it giving me a, a, a good sound so you can hear it clear and it's not sounding like it's uh, way back or whatever. Uh, now, those of you that are using, if you've got to use your uh, if you got to use your iPad or iPhone, sometimes you got uh, noise, background noise. Let me say uh, you can get this. This is another thing. I don't know if you can see it. It's called uh, U mic and you can get this probably on I think it's on Amazon. I think I paid ten dollars, fifteen dollars. I'm not sure what it was, but you see, this is a lapel mic, so you can take this mic while you're on your iPad or iPhone or whatever, and you can hook it. It hooks onto your clothes. Uh, see how it hooks on, and you can put it down where you can't see it, or you can put it where you can see it. And this is what they knew, use for news and other stuff when they're doing interviews and on game shows. Uh, they got a little thing hooked, but it's it's hooked so you can 
talk, and you're going to get a better sound. You're going to get a solid sound. So you you won't sound like, you know, we can't hear you because if we can't hear you, sometimes we just don't look at it a long time. So, uh, you know, check that out. Go on Amazon or check it out. This is called You Mike. They've got some others. Uh, I actually bought this one. I've only used it once. I've ac I actually bought this one uh, the other day from um, Walmart. Uh, elaborately a mic so uh, go check that out they may have some around there and you can use that for what you uh, need to use it for I, I hope this is helpful just trying to uh, I see a lot of you doing things and and one of the things that I always uh, noticed when I was uh, doing things and getting started in some areas there's some people that just didn't want to help you so they didn't help you out and they didn't, uh, they didn't want you to seem like you were getting ahead of them, and so they didn't help you, but but that's another story by itself, okay? So now let's look at uh, another thing that, that you need to look into, and I'm going to show you a couple things, and I'm almost done. Let's look at somebody said, well, Pastor Mar, what camera are you using? I've had those to ask me, what camera are you using uh, when you are streaming? Uh, you know, what, what camera do you use? So let me... See, can I pull, here's my, here's the camera that I'm using. The camera I'm using right now, I know some of you say, well, that's not a webcam. No, that's a camera for taking pictures. But it also acts as a um, video for streaming. So I'm able to stream with this. And this is the Sony DS, a DCS a XH90V. Uh, I bought this a couple years ago. I almost got rid of it, but I'm glad I didn't. But it gives me a perfect, uh, my picture that you see. Now, I use another camera, also a Canon. It's an older Canon. It's a T-Rebel. It's a Rebel T5i. Uh, only thing about the Canons, they, it, it has an even better clear picture for streaming and has a wonderful picture for, um, oh, my God, has a wonderful picture if you're doing uh, video. Oh, it is clear. I mean, you, you, it's so clear. And some of you go on my page and you can see some of the stuff. If I made a video, I made it with the Canon and used the lavalier mic to put this, bring the sound into it. But it has a 30 minute uh, cutoff where you can still use it after 30 minutes, but you just have to make an adjustment on it. So I want to say to those of you, uh, please, by all means, check that out. Then, uh, someone said, well, if I, if I get that, uh, how would I get, uh, my thing into the the camera glad you asked that question now they've got several ways now they've got some new things where you can almost plug straight into the computer but this here you probably won't be able to find it right now especially since everyone is streaming this is the cam link 4k and uh, this thing just works just take my word it just works you plug a camera in and you can find it on any platform you're using whether it's Zoom or whatever. And while I'm talking about that, let me go back with the upload speed and stuff. Even if you're using Zoom and other things like that, your speed, your upload speed needs to be good. Your computer needs to be good. Then you still will have the same issues with buffering or things not being like they should be. And then that Logitech 920, if you can't afford another camera, please go get one. And, and and get that, you you need to get that. But here, here look at this. Hey, hey, Pastor Winston, uh, Cam Link, this thing just works. And so somebody said, well, how would I get that in? Well, glad you asked. Uh, with the Cam Link, you have to use, this is the HDMI. This is the connection. You see that right there? You, you, you plug that in to the Cam Link. You plug it into the Cam Link and um, the other end now I've got this in here is, is my end for my Canon, but I also have the other end. If I take it off, you can see these are double ends. So on this double ends, you can, you can use that. And from the camera into the cam link, into the computer, and it has to be a USB 3.0 uh, uh, connection. But if you do that and download this software, take it from me, it just works and so this is what you need you, you need to look hdmi cords uh you can find those in almost any place even online you can get them so you need to check check that out uh they've got another thing i i was using before the cam link before i got the other computer and that was uh the uh black magic 
Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Uh, this works pretty good. Uh, it worked, but it didn't work with everything I needed it to work with. So, but that cam link works with everything. I, I can, I mean, it's just, hey, what can I say? It's, it's off the chain. So it, it is something that I think you may want to look into. Okay, so let's go back into something. Let me share with you uh, another thing. Uh, somebody said, well, Pastor Martin, your picture is clear. You got, you know, you're not dark or whatever. What do you, what do you use? Uh, well, let me tell you what I use. I, use, I have lights in front of me. If I go up, you probably could see them in my glasses, but I've got lights. I've got two umbrella lights and I've got an LED light. So let me show you uh, that. This is the light that I'm using. This this is the light that I use. That's that's the LED light. I can control it. It's not a hot light. I can control the, um, I can control things with this light. And I bought this uh, from Am off Amazon, I believe, probably about two or three years ago. And then I've got my other lights. Uh, I wish I could show them to you, but they're like studio lights. If you're taking pictures for a, um, a photographer light, so they're umbrella lights. And so I use those to light me up. So that's what you're looking at. You see lights. A lot of times when people are doing things, they're doing it in a, uh, a dark room and there's no, uh, no lights in. And so they look dark, they look grainy or dark because there's no light. Um, and, and I'm gonna, let me do this. Uh, please just give me a moment and, and I'm gonna show you. Now you see how it looks with the lights. I'm gonna actually turn the lights out and let you all see it, what it looks like when I, when I turn the lights out, all right? So let's, let's look at that. So I left one light on and then I've got the up light so you can see and I'm going I'm to cut all lights off. Okay, so now you see the difference, even though I got a good camera, now you see the difference in my picture. You see how my picture looks? You, you see what, what it looks like? I mean, if you were watching that, you may watch it and you may not because it doesn't have the, it just doesn't have what it needs to have. So this is what it looks like with the lights out. Then I'm gonna turn them back on and let you see the difference when I've got my lights on. Okay, lights back on. So now you see the difference you see what they look like now i've got my lights back on so the lights are on so there's a big difference if if you got lights so you need to maybe uh, concentrate on getting some ring lights now those of you that do it from your ipad if especially if you got it close if you do it on your ipad or your iphone uh go to the five dollar store or go to um probably online they got the big ring lights that you could use or they got these lights that you can just clip onto your phone and see how light that gets. You can put it right in, put it right there and see it puts light. And if I take my glass, you won't be able to see it, but it, it puts light on my face and you can see it. So you may need to check in to get, get in that also. So back to the other thing. Let me share this with you and then we'll get back to um, why you may be um, buffering and stuff. So here's my setup. So I'm gonna let you see what I'm, what I'm looking at while I'm talking to you. This is my setup. You see, I've got, um, the thing that you see on the left side, maybe I think it's your left side. That's a, a older unit that I had. It's, uh, uses, uh, for, I'll show you what tape that for when we used to do our services, we taped on, uh, what they call a, a mini, uh, mini DV, a cassette, uh, and we use those to to record uh, our services, and uh, we no longer use it, but I still have those tapes, so I still have that unit to transfer the things I need to transfer. Then I've got, of course, uh, DVD players, and then my speaker. You see my mic that I'm using here. I've got uh, another mic over there by the computer. You see, well, you do see the umbrella light right there, and you see the LED, and then you see 
this is my unit that I'm running my uh, sound through here. And uh, then, of course, I've got a stream deck and I've got uh, my computer. And the thing on top of the computer is another thing I use for streaming. So these are the things that I'm using. And uh, these are things that I've been building up over a number of years because I've been doing the streaming for a number of years. So we uh, are doing that. Then I have another monitor right in front of the, uh, behind the keyboard. That's for another streaming for uh, purposes of streaming. So this is, this is my setup. This is when I'm talking to you, this is what I'm looking at. And even though you may see me in, in the background or see something else uh, in the background, you understand that this is uh, my uh, setup and this is my thing. I'm looking at my, hold on. I just noticed this. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now it makes sense. That eight looked like it was upside down. <laughs> okay. So here, here's the, the little tape player I was telling you. I used We used to record on these and then we put them on, on DVDs and then uh, now when we do tape taping on Sundays at church, uh, somebody said, but what do you, what do you use to tape at church? Um, I have that camera, but I can't get to it right now. I don't think, but let me, let me see. This is, this is my home camera, but, uh, we've got one at, we got one at church also. This here is a, uh, it's full HD. If you can see it, this is a Canon. It's a Vixia uh, HFR 500, uh, fits in the palm of your hand, hook it up to a thing, and we get good quality pictures with this. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade when we get started again. It gives me, uh, but it gives great pictures and the sound, we can run the sound straight through it and the sound comes out great. And what we do is we use, uh, this is what we put our uh, tape our things on right here gonna put it on CDs, we put it on this uh, SD card, and uh, this one holds uh, 64 gigabytes, so I can get a whole service, a two on here or more, and we take it, and then I take it, and we uh, uh, transfer it over, edit it down, and then we have a, a, a thing. And so uh, all of these things, I, again, I hope is useful to you. Um, I just want everyone uh, we don't know how long we're going to be in this stuff we're doing, so I want everyone to get the best use out of whatever you're doing and get the best use out of your streams and the things that are taking place. So let me say again to you as I get ready to uh, close, I don't know if you had any questions for me. If you do, I'll try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. But let me let me say to you that, uh, you know, you um, – uh, you just have to do something else. Okay, let me answer this. I'm having issues with my Rodecaster Pro. Did you have noise? Uh, have you had that issue? Um, I haven't. What? Uh, I guess the question would be, if you're using the Rodecaster Pro, are you, uh, especially, I know we got the mics that are coming in, but going out, uh, what I had to do on a, on a certain thing is calling how, where your sound is going to. If it's going into your computer, uh, directly into your computer from it, you shouldn't have those issues at all. There shouldn't be any issues. Um, I tell you, I got another box that I use for BoxCast, and they, uh, on the camera that I use, it doesn't have an in for uh, sound. So the HDMI is not carrying the sound, so I'd bring the sound in separate from, uh, I had another thing that I was using, I still have it, but I just started experimenting with the, with the Rodecaster Pro to see how it would work. So what happened was I stopped uh, experimenting with it. So I was having Bible study the other night online and some people were saying, well, we can't hear you. And so what I discovered is I had to run from the way they got it set up, they got a RCA connection. And so I had to run an RCA connection, uh, the two male plugs from the back, and run into the RCA connection out of the headphones or out of the main thing and then adjust that sound and uh, get it so it, the Bible said it was perfect the other night. Then I went into the settings and uh, used and uh, did some of those things you use and it sort of cut some of that out. So just sort of keep playing with it and see what type of sound you get from it. I'm using it right now and I haven't had any issues since I started using it, uh, I figured since I paid the money I paid for it, I ought to get some use out of it. 
uh, instead of making just podcasts. So <laughs> I started using it for another reason. So, uh, you know, check that out or, uh, you know, inbox me. Uh, you go straight into the Mac. Uh, you may need to check some out on that or uh, inbox me and, and, and maybe we can do a, a call or something or a, a video conference and, and sort of ask and figure out what's going on. Uh, because I haven't had any problems with mine and uh, anything. Now, what are you streaming to? Are you streaming straight to, I know you're going into the Mac, but when you stream, are you using a third-party software? Are you streaming straight into um, like Facebook or whatever? How, how are you streaming that? I guess that would be my other question that I would um, ask to uh, see what, what you're doing. Um, so here again, if, if you're going to do streaming, now let me let me say this to you. I've got I've got an iPad, and if you're using the iPad, okay, if you're using the iPad, it's 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 great to use. Use what you have. Don't don't go out and break the bank trying to get a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, okay, OBS. Uh, I I tell you what you need to try. Try. Uh, I'm not familiar that familiar with OBS. Uh, I tried it once, but I I didn't really like it. And uh, the other one I I don't uh, I've I've use that try using um try it on restream and see what happens try restream uh, they'll let you uh you know they got a free version of it where you can uh stream so try try restream and see if that'll be because if if you're doing it to the mac then one of those things obs or the other one may be the um may be the culprit in that may be the problem with the sound that that could be it um but again, those of you that are using, if you're using your iPad, by all means, use what you have, whether it's a phone, an iPad, or whatever. Um, just, you know, work on, and I know I've gotten into a lot of stuff besides what I came on to talk about, but I did talk about that in the beginning. But just want to make sure everybody's doing their best. When you go on, please frame yourself good. Uh, frame it in a way that, you know, people can can look at it and, 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 and whatever. Uh, Get it where you can have quality sound. And I keep saying this, and I want to keep stressing this. I know I said every time, somebody got some fast, you just keep repeating this. Do not. Do not. Now, if you're real bright, and I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny with that, you can get away with it. But if you dog like me, and some of you dog like me, you cannot stream in front of a white background and get good results. You got to find, especially if you ain't got no lights, you got to find something that can light you and you got to find some of color behind you so it can pop you out from the background. Cause if it's white, it's gonna turn you darker than what you are. Even if you wearing white, you don't wear white shirts and stuff, it's gonna, it's gonna mess it up. If you standing in front of, don't stand in front of a glass, window a window even if you got curtains and if, if the light come through do not stand in front of a glass window do not stand in front of a gla in the glass and uh with that light coming through because again it's gonna have you a bad video so you don't want to do that either so just work on you know your framing find a good place that you can do what you do uh if you're using wi-fi just keep pay attention to it uh, because again, your buffering and your cutoff or your live stream being interrupted more than likely is coming from the fact that you, um, are not doing whatever. How do you like stream deck? I'm looking to get one. We use pictures and oh, oh, you definitely want to get one of these. Um, I'm having a ball with it. I got it. Uh, what you see, what you see me do tonight, uh, I, I put it in and, uh, in the software that I'm using called Ecamm, I put it in and the um, created my scenes, and so I don't have to even you know push the uh, don't and have to worry about uh, the mouse or anything. I just go and push these buttons, and it pops up on the screen. So you definitely want to get one of those. Plus, it's not just for the software that I bought it for, but you can actually push this and use it for um, like going to web pages and stuff, and also going to apps on your computer. So, uh, it is, yeah, you definitely want to get one of these. This, this is a, it's a game changer for real. 
and you want to get that and, and it'll help you with your uh, streaming and um, all of those. <laughs> yeah, I know that mouse can get to you. So I, I pray and trust again that this has um, helped some of you. And if you've got any questions, please, please feel free to inbox me. Uh, you know, sometimes I know uh, I could be making a lot of money giving this kind of information out, but I'm just sharing it with you and, and um, letting you know, because I want all of us to do good. I want everyone to look good, do your best, uh, you know, because when we come on, we present before the world. So we need to uh, try to make sure we got stuff. The last thing I want to say to most of you that, you know, if you know anything about videos and editing and stuff, uh, don't, don't be afraid. You know, live streaming is great and, and we do it. I'm doing it now. But don't be afraid if you have to, to uh, record something, whether you record on your iPad or your Bible study, whatever, record it and then put it on your computer, edit what you're doing and then upload it as a video or upload it as a premiere video or premiere on YouTube or whatever and show it, uh, show it later. Uh, what is the model of camera you have? Let me go back and show you uh, the camera. Uh, this is an old, old version, but you can see it. It's a Sony uh, DCS-HX90V, and um, that's what you're watching me on right now. That's what I'm streaming with right now, and um, that's, that's the camera. I cut it on, uh, and pop the software up and I'm streaming. I can stream anytime I get ready uh, right here. I can just, boom, I'm ready to go on any, I got uh, one, two, I got one, two, three, four. I got four ways to stream. I, I also use StreamYard. I haven't used it in a while though. Uh, but I've got, um, I've got BoxCast. I've got uh, Webcaster X2 uh, and I've got, um, what else I've got? I got, uh, da, 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 da. oh, uh, I got uh, Ecamm, which I'm using now, and then I have um, Wirecast. So I've got all these me methods and means and ways of doing live streaming, so I can just go on anytime I want to live stream as many times a day as I want. If I want to do it two or three times a day, I could. Don't know if I got that much to say. I could do it where I could be on every day of the week, uh, just don't know if I got that much to say. I try when I come on here to be informative. I have something that will help somebody. So that's why I do this sometimes. But that is that is the uh, camera that I'm using is that one right there. So again, I pray and trust that this has helped somebody uh, work on. Let's keep working on it. I know most of, most of us, uh, most people, they were not prepared for this. And, um, you know, just do this. I need to do a YouTube video. I'm going to actually, this video here is going to upload to YouTube. As soon as I cut off, it's going to ask me, do I want to send it to YouTube? And I'm going to send it to YouTube. So, uh, it can, um, it'll be posted there. Uh, I use this stream to YouTube, um, Facebook and Periscope and Twitter at the same time. I'm just not doing it tonight. So this video, it, it records with the software that I'm using. So I'll be able to upload it immediately and probably within five or 10 minutes, it'll be on YouTube. Um, you know, the same thing that we're sharing here will be on YouTube. All right. Thank y'all so much again for joining me. I appreciate uh, you being here again. Uh, if you got any questions or whatever, you on Facebook inbox me and just uh, say live stream. That's all you got to put on the thing live stream message me and say live stream or if you want to uh you know if you want to find out or whatever do uh what's my my email is rrcdmartin at gmail.com you can do it that way and again i pray that this has been a blessing uh to you thank you so much for joining please share it with somebody we're trying to do our best to get it done and i believe that all of us are going to do great I mean, from the biggest to the smallest, because there are some small churches. Some of you, you don't have a church. You may be an evangelist or whatever, but you're still doing ministry, whether you're doing it on Zoom or whatever. This, I believe, uh, just some things that, that I've shared tonight will help you to do what you got to do and do it in a better way and uh, produce uh, greater, greater videos, greater lives, 
greater, greater content. All right. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you the next time that we do uh, Church Tech Talk. God bless you. May all God's best be yours. 